Good morning. It is end of February here on Hatteras Island. This is Susie Schulten with Midget Realty and I am videoing a house this morning at, called Natural Light. It is on Smell Wreck Road. This is the road out here. It is gravel and it is a single lane. A lot of the house, a lot of these roads off of Woodall Way are like this. There is a vacant lot back here behind the house so another house could go in behind. That house across the street is a trailer that has had siding put on it. It's been there forever. There used to be a trailer on this piece of property as well and then that one you can see that's been remodeled or with the new white trim over there that was also an old trailer that was removed so this is not uncommon for this neighborhood. Walkway to the beach is just right there that sandy path that leads in front of the house in front of us. Uh, the space between the two houses is not a vacant lot, so nothing else is going to be built here. There is a vacant lot on the ocean front, so someone could build on the ocean front, but it would not block the view between the two houses down there that we are looking at currently, and that is water you can see. I am currently standing on the first floor entryway deck to the house, natural light. So you can see here we go. You have um, this stairway has been rebuilt recently this wood is newer we'll do some underhouse when we're finished up here it has cedar shake siding and let's walk on in all right so this is the first floor you have stairs immediately to your right and immediately to your left when you come in is a bathroom now the flooring in here has been redone this is all the lvp vinyl plank flooring uh, but the kit, the bathroom itself has not been redone. That's the original cabinet. They put in a new light bar, but the uh, shower is just a shower surround. And then the commode. Now this bathroom does have a doorway that leads into a bedroom. It is not a master bedroom because you can also access that bathroom from the hall but that's a nice feature for this bedroom this bedroom also has a nice big sliding glass door that leads out to some stairs which also do go down to the ground level back here so you can also come up this way into the house but it is not the main entrance to the house these stairs lead up to the doorway off of the kitchen and as you can see, there's just tons of parking down here and then under house parking as well. Uh, siding is in good shape on this level. Decks seem to be in good shape on this level. Of course, you'd want to get a home inspection and all opinions are mine. This is a uh, carpet and it seems to be in good shape. It's Berber. The room is not huge, but it is what you need. I'm assuming that chair goes, well, maybe it doesn't. Maybe it looks too nice to be stuck out on the back porch um got this wood paneling on the wall and this is not inexpensive paneling this is nice tongue and groove type paneling and then there is a closet oh the door is hard to open with the carpet nice closet back here so again that first bedroom you come into then right across here is the washer dryer. So is it is in-house. Older models, but they're here and they work. You've got a little bit of storage space up there. Keep So again, that same nice woodworking is in the hallways here as a chair rail. And then when you come down the hall, you have the choice of either going into this bedroom or this bedroom and these two bedrooms share a bathroom this is not an additional hall bath this is a shared bathroom between these two bedrooms this room is set up currently as a kids room again you've got this nice paneling on the walls nice big closet windows now here we've got a little you can see this, these are the wood clad windows and somebody has painted that and the paint's peeling a little bit because it was probably had a little bit of water damage underneath, which is why they painted them. It doesn't feel soft and it's not currently wet. And you've got nice bunk bed set in here. And then this leads a doorway here into the bathroom, which small and again, mostly original been painted 
This one has the uh, vinyl sheet flooring, not the LVP. And then you have this got a nice little window up there and the whole one piece shower. So bathrooms, you know, could use a little, a little zhushing here and there, but otherwise they are in good shape. This is the, what would be considered the master bedroom and it is gigantic for a house of this age. It's a nice sized bedroom. Again, the nice wood paneling here. You have a little built-in uh, storage bench, window seat. And again, you can see a little bit of that on the windows where they've painted it. But I mean, there's a king size bed. And then you've got this big oversized chair. It's a it's a nice big, big room. Does have its own access to the deck. And this is a huge wide deck. So this house currently does not have a hot tub. I would suggest that you have any deck evaluated for whether it can hold a hot tub. But at some point I have a feeling there was one out here on this deck. It would be, um, it could be done if you wanted to add another one and that would increase the rentals. You do have a water access out here. You would need to put in the electrical uh, to do the hot tub because you need to have a dedicated um, line for that. And again, from this deck, I can see the ocean waves and a, no house will go in between these two houses. Again, something could be built on that ocean front but nothing currently. So this deck is private to this bedroom and it is gigantic. This home was originally built by Henry and Michael Schliff. And I know that name means nothing to you, but they were the original owners of the Orange Blossom Bakery up in Buxton. All right, so vinyl plank flooring has been put on the stairs. The wood trim goes all the way up the stairs. Lots of windows in this house. And then we come to the top floor living level. Now, there are no bedrooms on this level. This house is just three bedrooms, but it does have two and a half baths. You do have an extra half bath up here, which is nice. So when you're up here, you don't have to run downstairs to use the bathroom. And it's spacious. There's a lot of nice open living space. The kitchen has a ton of cabinetry. The vinyl plank flooring runs throughout this whole kitchen. Now, the cabinets are not new. They've been painted, had new knobs put on them, but they're just the inexpensive cabinets. And the countertop, obviously, is probably original to the house and is, has seen some better days. You do have this beautiful wall here of windows that let in all that natural light. Lots of nice space. I do believe this is a two zone system in this house. So you have one HVAC for this level and one for the downstairs. You have two nice sliding glass doors. This one leads out into a beautiful screen porch which is just wonderful. And look at that. You can see those waves. You can hear them this morning. Again, that over there is also not a vacant lot. The house in the front there owns that, that vacant area right there. That's their septic field. So nothing will be built there. And we'd have to check, but I don't think that there's a vacant lot between those two houses either. There might be, if I'm not 100%, but at this point, nothing is there. So you got nice vaulted ceiling here on this screened-in porch. And the shakes have been in good shape under here. Two locks on the screen door. takes you out to the rest of this deck space. Railings are nice and solid. No need to worry there. You got cedar shakes. Look at the roofing material. Looks like some five tab architectural shingles. 
I had the listing on this house when this buyer bought it, and that is the street, next street down. That's Dunes East, but there are only one, two, three houses on Dunes East and no vacant lots, so nothing else is going to be built there. So you don't really have to worry about a ton of traffic coming past. But I had the listing on this house when these people purchased it through the current listing agent, and I sold it to the person who had it before. That's interesting. That is some sun damage, wind damage, something damage to that piece of wood. So I have a fair amount of knowledge on this property. The people before this current owner did not rent it out, except to like family and friends, VRBO type situation, and so they did not have a very strong rental history on it. Sorry, having trouble getting this door locked. There we go. Got in the screen porch. The biggest issue I can see with this house is the septic system because the septic system is probably original to the construction of the house itself and might even go back for the, to the trailer that was here previously. I'm like just looking for some water damage. I don't see anything. No popcorn on the ceiling up there. Nice tall ceiling. And it is in a tight spot. Now the county will do its best to give you back what you had. It is a three bedroom septic and we'll look at it when we go outside. Here is that woo, back stairway that comes up from the driveway. And you do get a sound view. I'm not sure how well it comes out in the video, but I can see the sound right now. Again, there is a vacant lot here that could be sold. And no, this lot does not have room on it for a pool. Here's the back side of the house. Strangely enough, after the people that I sold this house to, the house was struck by lightning back here. And so this half of the side of the house, uh, siding wise, has been replaced. It did not cause the house to have a big fire, but um, all the railings out here, as you can see, have been replaced. They are 36 inches standard new standard height for railings so that has all been corrected but yeah sound view ocean view ocean view is really nice i don't know of any plans currently to build on those vacant lots furniture's in decent condition so nothing you really have to do except start renting um, if you wanted to do anything with that kitchen countertop, you could change that out, but all the appliances are here. You've got this cute little bookshelf area. All right, let's take a stroll around the outside of the house. And this is a midget realty rental, so it comes with the electronic door lock on it. Um... If you decided you didn't want to stay with Midget Realty, you do have to honor the rents that are on the books for 180 days. But once you're out of that obligation, Midget would come back, take that lock off, and put the uh, regular lock back on. That lock belongs in its property of Midget Realty. So here's where you've got the nice parking area. The property line probably goes to about that telephone pole right there. And then you have all this under house parking. I don't remember any issues with the pilings on the previous home inspections. I do, it, the stairs and those railing heights were a big issue and that was all corrected by my buyer back when they purchased the house. So the pilings, obviously home inspection to be sure, but I don't see anything. I do not have a key for the under house storage area, but let's take a look and see. Nope, it's locked. So, but there's a big underhouse storage area. There's a nice outdoor shower here. So you've got dressing area here and these little elevated pads so you don't stand on the ground. And there's the shower head. It's dangling at the moment, but 
lots of space for to hang your clothes. Privacy with these bushes, which again, no regulations on keeping them. You could trim all of that. And there's one piling right there that looks a little chewed on as far as eaten away rot wise, not actually chewed on. And we've got HVAC units out here. The rust on the outside doesn't bother me because things out here that are metal rust, which you're looking at are those bits inside and they are all in good condition and there. Now this stand on the other hand is not in great shape. It looks like it is sagging <laughs> tremendously here. That needs to be helped some. This unit is the older of the two and again still you can start to see the corrosion in there, the change of color from the nice metallic color to a whitish look but they're not falling off. I don't see a whole bunch of them piled up at the bottom so it probably has some years left in it. You get a screen up there that's all torn to shreds, but the shakes themselves and the uh, soffits and drip edge all look good. The pilings out here all look okay. It's usually the ones that are around the concrete that are the ones you have to worry about. Whole back side of the house over here. And again, this is 58219 Smell Wreck Lane. Natural Light is the name of the house. It's in Midget Realty's rental program. The street is named after a shipwreck. If you're wondering, there was a wreck that has and still does leaks sulfur or makes a sulfur reaction in the water with whatever's the fuel that's leaking out of it offshore i've never smelled it but fishermen know it as the wreck that smells or the smell wreck all most of the streets here on woodall off of woodall way are named after shipwrecks And strangely, each one of these streets is a separate subdivision. There's the front side of the house. There's the street looking down to Woodall Way. So you're off of Highway 12. You don't hear any road noise. All I hear is ocean sounds. Let's go take a look at what the beach looks like today. Now, if someone were to build on this property, obviously the walkway currently is running right up the middle of this person's lot. So it would have to be relocated to the easement that is actually between this lot and the lot next door. But that's an easy enough thing to do. You can see their pathway joins into this one. Not a wooden walkover. Some of the neighborhoods in this off of Woodall Way have the wooden walkovers. This one does not. There, theirs is joining in as well, so there'd be some relocation done. And you can see we've got, we've just walked up one dune. Now we're walking across in between the dunes. Whoop scared some doves. And I don't know where we are tide-wise this morning. We do have a bit of a wind blowing onshore. And you can drive on the beach in front of the villages in the off-season, but you cannot drive on the beach in front of the villages during the season. There you go. You can see down there they have a walkover. Ellie. And then there's a walkover down that way as well. This neighborhood does not have one. There's the beach today. It's a cold.
cold wind coming off that ocean. Lots of protection for the house. Sure. View down the strip. All right, so that is natural light.